Hi guys, hope you're doing great. My name is Seth. I'm the guitar player for Alex Henry Foster and the Long Shadows. And welcome in our church studio. And today, I must admit, I'm pretty excited because Orange is just releasing an amazing project. And for you to understand, to put you in context, back in the 70s, Orange was doing pedals. The people requested to Orange to bring back to life those pedals. And not only that, people who own those old pedals took part of the process to give life to this project by sending videos, comments, pictures. Orange found the schematics of those old pedals and all those precious information will give to Adam Slee, the chief designer from Orange. So it's why I'm really honored to present you the brand new pedal from Orange, the distortion, phaser, and sustain pedal. The sustain pedal. This one is like an opto compressor. You have a little light here that turns purple. It tells you the amount of gain reduction. And the amount of compression is with controlled by the depth knob and you have the output of the pedal. And I must admit, I was quite impressed how much it's transparent, it's punchy, not noisy, sounds super good. And for me, compression, it helped me, you know, for many situations, like when I'm doing kind of hybrid picking with the pick and the finger, it helped to balance your sound. What's too loud is gonna be softer, and what's too weak is gonna be louder. So check this out. And what I love about this pedal, even if you set up the compression at maximum, it doesn't kill the sound. For me, compression, sustain is really helpful. Because I must be honest with you guys, I struggle quite often having my distortion sound too loud compared to my clean sound. I know guys, there's no right or wrong. Some people love having the compression before the overdrive or distortion sound, but me, I like it after. It helps me to have like a more balanced sound between my distortion and clean sound. I will show you an example. At the same time, it's gonna be a good way to show you how much the distortion from Orange sounds so freaking good.
You've just heard the distortion sound. It's amazing, eh? And what's the difference between this model and the one back in the 70s? The one back in the 70s was built with a back-to-back -back diode circuit. And this one is with an amp circuit. I cannot tell you more about it. I'm not a technician or a designer, but the thing is, I can tell you when I set up the clean sound on the Thunderverb and I plugged this pedal and turned it on, dude, it was an experience. Yeah. And you have the amount of distortion here and the output of the pedals. And if you want to adjust the treble, it's really simple. There's a little pot inside that you can adjust. Forget about that, guys. It's not that complicated. It's a little pot to adjust the treble. Don't worry. But let's be serious. I will play something for you from Alex Henry Fosser and the Long Shadows. I will play the rhythm with the distortion sound. And when it's going to be the time for the lead sound, I will add the compression. Let's start. <laughs> surprise, eh? Yeah, I used the phase on the last sequence. But be patient. We're gonna get there at the right time. But just before, I want you to hear the distortion sound with another amp than the orange one. This phaser is a four stage, like the one back in the 70s. It sounds amazing, not noisy, and super simple. One knob, the speed of it. But trust me, when I heard this phaser, I travel right back into the past. Okay, 
I've prepared something for you guys. As you know me, I'm a real pedal junkie. And I thought it would be interesting for you to hear how I could incorporate those pedals in my setup. So we'll use other effects. We're going to have a good time. Let's go. As you could hear, those little beasts from the past sound simply awesome. And think about that two seconds. Orange is established since 1968 and has been involved in the tonal personality of so many great musicians and artists. So it's really cool for us to be able to discover this strong heritage from Orange through a project like this one. So go try those pedals and let me know your impressions. Until next time, keep up the real spirit of rock.